We're in the National Gallery in London, and we're looking at one of the great Caravaggios. This is uh, The Supper at Emmaus. It dates to about 1601, and it's a large painting. It and, is large. And it's horizontal, and the figures are actually life-size, so that there's a real sense of our proximity, our presence at this table. There's even a space for us. And the story is that Christ has been crucified, and his disciples are walking along a road. A man joins them when they all sit down for dinner. This third man breaks the bread and at that moment is revealed to be the resurrected Christ. And, and we're seeing the reaction of those two disciples. The moment when they recognize him. We have a split second in time and this high drama. The disciple on the left in the tattered green shirt or jacket looks into the table, seated at the table as we are. Mm -hmm. So his reaction is our reaction as we look to Christ. I love this gesture that he makes of this figure in the left corner. He's so taken away. He's frightened. He's moving his chair like, holy cow! Interested and frightened at the same time. That's right, drawn back and drawn in. Forward, Simultaneously. Right. And in fact, the entire painting draws forward and back simultaneously. Our eyes go into Christ. And in fact, both of the apostles frame our vision as we move towards that center. In other words, the whole painting is a kind of triangle of vision that moves into Christ's face. At the same moment, all of their hands, or I should say, the left hand of the apostle on the right, and Christ's right hand both move out towards us, literally embracing us and inviting us visually into the image. Well, I mean, he couldn't be trying to do that more. It's not just in the hand. And it's everywhere. I mean, look at that basket of fruit in the, the front still life, that yeah. hangs off the table. Caravaggio was trying to make this painting burst into our space in every possible way he can to make it immediate and real and emotional for us. You know, I want to join that table. And, of course, there's all of the sort of complexity of the emotions of the figures, which are, of course, the majority of the painting and the painting's purpose. But then there's a tremendous amount of attention that's been paid to the still life. And look at the chicken. It looks good. You know? <laughs> it does. I wouldn't the mind, bread, I wouldn't the, mind fruit. Having the fruit. It's all beautiful. It's, it's that physicality that we expect of Caravaggio. Well, look, for instance, at the specificity of the joinery in the furniture. Mm -hmm. If you look at the chair on the left, the very technique of its construction is revealed to us. Everything in this painting is revealed and opened up to us. And yet, the painting is also incredibly focused. Where are we? We're in a kind of shallow space. It's quite dark, and he is really attending to our focus, making sure that our eye goes only where he wants it. Well, and he puts the light there, so that sharp light on most theatrical light on the left side of Christ's face. And what I'm also struck by is this thing that we always see with Caravaggio too, of the ordinariness of the figures. The apostle on the right looks like he has a bit of a cold. His yes, nose is a little red. True. The apostle on the left will have a tear in, in his clothing. You know, they're poor. It's That's a what rough the apostles and were, It's right? a rough and tumble world. And they're not in a church. They're in an inn. And so we have the innkeeper and quite plain furniture, quite a plain place setting. This is not the pomp and ceremony that we might see Christ represented when he's represented in a church-like setting. As is also so typical of Baroque and, and is so perfectly represented here, that moment when the divine enters the everyday world. Making the miraculous, the spiritual, immediate in our modern world. And so immediately, physically, realistically, in our space, present. That was such a goal of the Counter-Reformation, of the moment in which this painting was made. Confirming and reaffirming and strengthening our faith. Mm -hmm.